Yeah, very exciting. Uh, look, I know I've got a horse who's got, you know, obviously group one ability. Um, and, you know, usually the Hong Kong horses, every time they travel, they always run well. So uh, by all reports, Tony's very happy with the horse. So um, I'd expect California Spangle to hopefully put his best foot forward and, and, can, and can run a really good race for Hong Kong. Um, can you tell us what, what, what was the difference before you are uh, in the Jubilee Cup? You've got a trial for, for him. You've got uh, California Spangle in the dirt. What's the difference to the race uh, in 1,400 and 1,200 metres right now? Uh, well, the difference is, I suppose, we're going up a straight here. Uh, so I don't know what Tony, Tony's done with him in between. I see he had a little jump out the other morning. But um, his trial with me on the dirt, I was very confident with him. I thought he trialled really well. And even Huey, when he trialled him up the straight, the Sha 10,000 prior to that, he was confident that he trialled well. So um, I think the horse, obviously, was going really well. Um, he loved that little bit of rain on the track, I think, on race day at the 1400 and he got control so that was a big positive for him the other, the other day uh, obviously it's a completely different scenario this week uh, he's had to travel over to Dubai he gets uh, obviously 1200 meters up the straight um, to, to somewhere that he's never been before so uh, I've got no doubt that you know he's if he puts his best foot forward he, he can definitely be one of the main chances but um, We'll see, uh, we'll see how the day, day, day unfolds and if they go to the middle, go to the inside or go to the outside. And um, like I said, just very excited for the day. So you feel acceptable for the gate five or of a, a, a strong win? If you win the Dubai Medan always in, in that time? You don't, you're concerned about it? Uh, not really. It's out of my control. So there's nothing, no point worrying about things that are out of control. Uh, you know, obviously a number of years when Amber Sky won, I know it was a thousand metres, but Joe took him straight out wide and, and led him, ran him into the ground. So... Uh, Obviously, 1,200 is a little bit different, but, um, yeah, you, you can lead and win this race. So, um, look, I'm sure we'll be somewhere on speed, and the Spangler loves being on speed and, um, and running like that. So uh, I don't think there's any point in changing anything. Yeah. You've got at Dubai Turf with uh, Kasper and uh, Srik Alon. Uh, how's feeling about him? Is it your first time riding a home? Yeah, look, looking forward to riding straight, Aaron. He obviously ran very well during the internationals. Um, I find that, you know, once you get to 1,600 metres and above, and take on the Europeans and the Japanese horses. It's it's obviously a big ask. Uh, they're very strong in those those parts of the, those divisions of the races. So he's definitely going to have to run a PB. Um, but by all reports, he's done well. And you know, I think from the draw, he's obviously going to be back. Going to need some luck. But if he puts his best foot forward, then there's no reason why. You know, I, I think a pass mark with him would be top five. And uh, looking forward to riding.